Sneeznesia by Deb Luke. There once was a boy who sneezed so hard he forgot his own name. He sneezed so hard he forgot if his mom was black haired or blonde and if she wore glasses or not. He sneezed so hard. He blew down aisle three, and when he got up, he no longer knew where he was or how he had gotten there. Where has he gone? Achoo! Again and again, his nose wrinkled up and went, Achoo! Out came an eight, then a six, then a two. followed by Squanto teaching the pilgrims how to plant corn. An entire hanky's worth of presidents, Richard Nixon, Bill Clinton, Abraham Lincoln, Theodore Roosevelt, George Washington, Barack Obama, George W. Bush. Goodness, that's a lot of presidents. So what, the boy thought, that's just the boring stuff they teach us in school. Then a Triceratops, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and a Postosaurus shot out of his nose with a roar. Roar! They made a Jurassic mess all over the floor. Wait, he said, I like this stuff. His favorite baseball team was expelled from his head. He blew their socks right off their legs. Then, and this is so sad, the lost little boy sneezed out Christmas. Oh no, no more Christmas. Just when it seemed nothing else could be left inside, he sneezed one more time. Out came a puff of dust, a rubber band, and a few stray facts that had slipped between the lobes of his brain. The boy shook his head. Nothing rattled. Hey, he said, I stopped sneezing. Average body temperature is 98.6. Ignatius rock is formed from... Look left, then right, before crossing the street. The presidents, the pilgrims, the reindeer, the dinosaurs, and everything else he once knew stood there staring at him. But how do we get back in? He had no idea. None. Where he'd kept his thoughts, there was now nothing at all. His brain was like a tire with no pressure inside. With a hiss, it went flat. His eyes Filled with tears, things could hardly be worse. He was motherless, nameless, and practically brainless. It was enough to make a boy sniff a big, sorrowful sniff. <laughs> the sniff delivered a rush of high-pressure air into the low-pressure area inside his head, creating a suction so powerful it sucked all his knowledge off the grocery store floor. Whoosh went Santa. Whoosh went a pilgrim. Whoosh went a sock. Right back up the boy's nose and into his brain. Whoosh went the Apatosaurus. But it had gotten only about halfway when, look, a raisin. The suction pulled his mother all the way over from the other side of the store, where she'd been waiting in the deli line for a very long time. Well, look, she's blonde and has no glasses. Hmm. In one smooth move, his mother reached into her purse, pulled out a tissue and planted it firmly on her son's nose, just as the last bit of knowledge was making its way back into the boy's brain. Blow, she said, you've got a big green thing hanging out of your nose. And so it was that the boy, who now knew his name was Zack, 
got all his memories back. Except that is for one big, green, slow-moving, plant-eating fact. Oh, he blew out the Apatosaurus! <laughs> oh, well, I hope you like sneeze -nesia. As Tigger says, TTFM or ta-ta for now. I love you guys. Bye-bye.